joining us now, they're all cozy on the couch together here. Yeah, we do want to share. <laughs> we have Alani Sensok and Chad Holly. Thank you both for Thank being you. here very much. And a little bit of information about Lonnie here. He uh, actually grew up in Dewey's, went to high school in Sandy Creek, and now has uh, made his way in Hollywood. He's played in films like About Schmidt, To Wong Fu, Going Down to Neverland, and My Aunt Nia. And uh, now you are doing a documentary about Lou. And Chad, you're kind of his right-hand man. Are you helping him yes. with the documentary? Then? Yeah, you're, you're here to help him out, just in case he forgets anything yeah. he said. But you have some <laughs> film, <back> <laughs> film background as well. Just yeah. briefly mention that. Um, well, I did. Uh, I've done just some independent films like uh, Independence that yes. was done in Hastings and uh, With or Colin Easter, Williams. Easter that was in Hastings yes. and then Independence in Cozad and a um, bunch of student films in Lincoln. Oh, um, neat! So yeah. they all know they all know the film industry pretty yeah. well yeah. And, and what goes on there. So, Lonnie, we want to start with you. Um, I, I just want to ask you, you're currently working on this documentary with Lou, but you started in videography in high school and college. Can you speak a little bit about that? Yeah, my, my uh, metal brother has a company called S-Video, and it started out where we went out and helped. You know, like when we were younger, we didn't have anybody tape recording us, our games, you know, those right. memories. So we thought, what a great way to give the kids back something, you know, to the yeah. parents. So that we started doing high school, and that moved on to college football. and. And uh, so my videography experience started as a, you know, a PA and then a videographer. Mm -hmm. and, and then and an actor. A, and an actor and sing. I sang. And yes. So it was kind of the rankings, you know, you move up. That's a very good I singer. <laughs> Pop lead singer. And you, you work with the Jonas Brothers. and Yeah, worked on the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're too good. Yeah. <laughs> Chad, where are you from? Deschler. Deschler. You know what I like about this is all these guys are originally from Nebraska, and a lot of people say certain things, but, but there is a lot of talent that comes out of this state, and I think you guys are right there to prove Usually it. from yeah. small towns. Yeah. 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 So let's talk about your documentary. What made you decide? Because you guys have a close relationship. Can you talk briefly about that before you get into the doc documentary? I will. Um... Well, he's, he's my son, my... my uh, uh, yeah. My surrogate, my adopted son. Yeah. Put it this way, for me, um, and I want to mention this, Lou and Pam gave me the chance to do a real story because I felt like I was ready to do the directing. Uh -huh. By the time, you know, 16 years had passed, and I thought, what do I want to do? And I started out as, you know, with Lou, when I first met Lou, as an homage to his family. You know, finally tell his story. And um, Lou said, well, if you want to get serious, then let's do it. And a week later, you know, he kept in touch, and Lou and Pam have kind of been... My parents that I don't have now, you know, my both my real parents are gone, so oh, wow. they really have helped me as a family person as well. So. What a perfect couple to help you. You know, before well, you we see, actually looks like physically looks like yeah, that's <laughs> it. Because <laughs> my wife over there is blonde and says can be, and so we uh, we don't have any problems saying, well, he's our son. But nobody <laughs> says he doesn't look like your son. Chad's another story. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> How does that make you feel to have Lou say that about you? I mean, that's got to just be humbling, honestly, isn't it? Honestly, it's, um, it's been three and a half years later, and I, I still get emotional, honestly, yeah. over it. I do every day. No no kidding. And Aww. Pamela, you know, is one of the greatest people in the world. She looks out for us. Oh. You know, before we get in talking a little bit more about the documentary, can we, we're going to take a look at a clip from your documentary right okay. now, and then we'll talk more about it. Very kind of Midwestern and... You know, sort of corny looking and acting and, uh... Oh, crap! We're paying $7,000 a quarter to go to school here and he's brought dolls in, you know? And, and they're all odd and they're African and and, and, and... and then he sort of arranges them and talks about storytelling. Then you begin to realize that it's the beginning of something absolutely wonderful. Almost any dress up occasion. Well, there's just there. a few <laughs> clips of what you're doing. So tell us a little. It's a documentary, obviously. It's a documentary feature, actually. It's it's got so many people from saying uh, you're quirky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Richard Mazer he said that they weren't anything alike, but Lou was hands on with the actor. I know when I talked to Richard, he had talked to Lou uh -huh. daily about. You know, Lou was one of those people that came in and said, "Hey, does this work for you? If it don't, let me know." And you know not, that that doesn't happen a lot, but Lou's very hands-on, and I really like wow. that story. Now, how can people uh, be able to see this documentary? When will it be finished? 
Well, we're shooting for February, to be honest with okay. you. Our first cut hopefully will be at the end of January. So. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have a red carpet thing that you might need someone to commentate? <laughs> it's a, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah we, we actually were talking about that. Yeah. Like yeah. That? yeah. And if you could throw in Russell Crowe, then yeah. like, that would be quite fantastic. I don't think he's from Nebraska. I think he's from Australia or something. Yeah. But seriously, you should have a red carpet yeah. event. Well, we're actually That's after we throw Joan Rivers under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring the young ladies in. I actually got some pretty good. We got some pretty good plans for it, Jeff. We were, we're lucky not involved. enough that That's Jeff, fine. back in the day when he was doing Fallen Angel, Jeff Gilmore is now the director of Sundance, who's in my film, and we just got him at the last, like the last year. I didn't even go out. My producer went out and got him, and, and so we're, we are shooting for that. We want this to be a big story. It's Lou. Yeah. I mean, Lou's help. Not only Lou, but I don't know if he knows, but the writer block parties that they used to have in Hollywood it was hosted by his wife Pamela. Wow! So, so when she knows met, how to do the party, she knows everything. I need to hook up. We need to, yeah, we need to get Pam in here. You know what? We're out of time, and so, uh, but next we're going to talk to our third judge, who's Dr. Umlin, a local professor. But of course, we're going to see you in a bit because you're going to help judge these UNK students, right? Great. Thank right. you so much. We'll see you on the other side of the break.